everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, yes, it is another haul. I am so excited about this haul. I haven't shopped on Boohoo in quite a while. So yes, of course, I just had to pick up a few pieces. When I say a few, I think there's like eight pieces there. And yeah, just as the Boohoo order came, um, an order from Belle Lily arrived as well. I have had so much good feedback on Belle Lily. Bear in mind, it's an overseas website if you didn't know. Um, from my last haul, um, people telling me that they've received orders and it's just nice to know that they aren't a scam or anything like that that some people like to imply. The only thing with an overseas website is the shipping is going to take a lot longer. I've never had to wait more than four weeks for something but that's like an extreme case and usually it does come between two to three weeks. So there's literally like a little bit of something for everyone. There's Boohoo which I know like a lot of people probably already know and love and there's Bow Lily which I know a few of you probably don't and don't know whether you want to shop there or not but I want to show you how the quality is just kind of up there with Boohoo standards and you're sometimes paying a lot less. A lot of this stuff in this haul is completely affordable by the way. Like as usual I don't want to like make you all break your bank. I think there's only two items in there which I will just show you first to get out of the way from Boohoo that were a little bit on the pricier side because they are coats and jackets which you do kind of expect because they are usually investment pieces. So I'm going to get them out of the way and then I'm going to get into the affordable bit which I believe is like either £20 and under or £25 pound and under if you did want to keep up with me then my instagram snapchat twitter 21 buttons and my depop is all at sarah joe holder and i would appreciate it so so much if you show me some love over on those sites and yeah is there anything else no so let's just get into the video because i know you're all so excited for another autumn haul literally autumn clothing is my fave oh by the way before i start this jumper here is just from pretty little thing okay so like i said i'm going to start off with just two coats which were over like the 20 25 pound mark from boohoo just to like give you a glimpse of kind of my coat wardrobe at the moment so i did just pick up this which is this like really long fur kind of mink colored coat it is faux fur by the way and they're really really soft as well like a lot of fur coats that are around at the moment are just really really soft which i think is like a selling point for me if my fur coat isn't soft if i feel a fur coat and it isn't soft that i basically do not want it i've got it in the size eight and it does fit really really nicely it's like an oversized fit as well this was 50 pounds but boohoo do always have like crazy discounts over there like a lot of the time they just have like 20 percent off the site sometimes 30 percent off coats and jackets and whatnot i don't think i've ever done a shop on boohoo where i've like not used a discount so be sure to use the discount for this it is 50 pounds but i reckon you'll be spending a lot less than this usually with boohoo but i will link this all down below so you can go and check out their fur coat range i just can't go over this it is a little bit like pimp-esque but i still love it and then the next like coat jacket kind of thing that i got from boohoo was just this oh my goodness it's like including two of my favorite things at the moment like orange red and shearling kind of sheepskin kind of material and this is just a cross between an orange and a red it's kind of like a tomato red it just has these gorgeous like ring zip details on it there then on the actual zip it's lined with like this shearling material we've got shearling on the sleeves there i love this coat i've posted it a couple of times already on my instagram because i love it that much and i literally just want to wear it every day because it just goes with my whole wardrobe but, um yeah i think this was like 40 pounds i think around that mark which is really good for the quality of this coat as well like it's not too thick it's not too thin but it does have obviously the lining and the quality of it is really good the extra zip details and stuff it's definitely what I would say is worth the £40. Yeah, boohoo, like I absolutely adore this coat, it's really, really cute. Okay, so now I'm just gonna move on to my first piece from Belle Lily. Now you know that Belle Lily do some amazing dupes, as you've seen in my last few videos. A few of you have like received them and told me how much you love them. And I do have a few dupes coming up. Firstly, I'm just gonna show you something that isn't really a dupe, but is super cute and I've seen in a lot of places. It's just this yellow hoodie here. And I've got this like racing, like checkerboard stripe flag kind of thing all the way down there and then on the back it just says broken dreams club it's like proper hoodie material it's lined it's soft inside this is a dreamy hoodie and for like such a good price as well sort of like an average size hoodie i did get it in the size large and it fits me probably how i would say a size 10 or a 12 kind of normal sized hoodie would fit so not really oversized but not really tight either and i absolutely adore it i love the color of it everything about this is just me like 
I would wear this just in the winter, throwing under like a black puffer jacket and some black denim jeans or something like that. Like so many things I can see myself doing with this. I love Bao Lily so much. Whenever I go on there, there is something more that I want. Okay, so I looked at the hoodies over on Boohoo as well and kind of similar to the yellow one, but in this beige color, I just picked up this cropped hoodie and kind of similar. It has this checkerboard flag print, which is just so on trend at the moment. Checkerboards, flag print, kind of like motor kind of vibe kind of feel. I did have this in other colours as well. It would look really nice with some like high-waisted nude kind of leggings and it's quite lightweight and thin. It's thinner than the other hoodie and of course it's only crop. I do think this was maybe a tiny bit cheap. This one it does say is in a petite range and it's a size 8 but it fits me absolutely perfectly and I think it is just so gorgeous and I'm going to go with so many things like casual pieces. I'm all over at the moment. So I know you're all really wanting to get to the Bow Lily dupes but before we get to the dupes I'm just going to show you the this little number which is actually inside out so yeah i did just get this which you can see through so you can kind of guess what it is but it is just this like really cool sexy black bodysuit and it has this sort of cut out detail there at the back and then it's completely see-through there but I don't mind a little bit of a nip slip here and there like free the nip and all of that and you can always wear like a little bra underneath or something like that to kind of cover up that bit or you can always sew like a little bit of black material on there if you want to go to that effort anyway or you could just wear this underneath stuff or like underneath a white shirt with just the lace bit poking out like there are so many things that you could do with a bodysuit like this it can literally be used as just underwear I've been pairing it up with so many outfits at the moment every time I go to like wear a pair of new jeans or something like that I just instantly want to put this on and this was something ridiculous I don't know if it was like eight pounds and especially when you're getting free delivery from Belle Lily and I'm sure they usually give me like discount codes as well so if they do have a discount code given to me by the time the video goes up I will be sure to link it all down below. Kind of on the opposite end of the scale from a little free lace bodysuit I did just pick up this from Boohoo which is this roll neck mustard flared sleeve seriously flared sleeve jumper and i adore it i'm so glad i'm into knitwear this year as you can see i'm wearing knitwear last year i wasn't this year i am and i am stocking up i had to get a mustard piece look at these sleeves these sleeves sold this jumper for me i was like i'm gonna try and get as many unique jumpers as possible and wear them to death over the christmas period and whatnot so yeah this is gonna look super glam i think just like tucked into a high-waisted pair of black jeans and then just so much focus then on the sleeves. I did just get this in a small to medium and it's super nice quality. It's not itchy at all and super affordable as well. So many things I can say with this and this colour is literally just autumn filled. I love autumn. It's my favourite season. Any colours or anything that reminds me of autumn. I love. Okay, so I did say I was going to get to the dupes and I was not lying. Hello, first dupe of the Bao Lily haul. This is very similar to the dupe that I was wearing in the last Bao Lily haul, which I will link down below, which was just a sweatshirt. But this time it's just a long sleeved top. Now, I do not have enough long sleeve tops. I have a lot of sweatshirts, hoodies, and long sleeved things, but never like a long sleeve t shirt, if you know what I mean. Something really casual that you can layer up underneath a jacket and you won't be too claustrophobic. So this is just going to be perfect. This is going to go really nicely with a pair of joggers, a pair of jeans, a really nice casual dress down piece, a nice loungewear piece. And then of course, it's just a dupe saying champion on there. It's kind of in this grey mile sort of texture, which I absolutely adore. Quality on this is so nice. The t-shirt's really thick. It's not see-through and I got it in a size medium. So be sure to go and check out Bao Lily for their dupes because... Okay, so Boohoo don't really do dupes, like outright copy dupe kind of things, but they do definitely take inspiration from high-end designer brands, which then brings me to this little scarf here. This is Burberry all over. When I saw this, I was literally like, I have to have you. I've wanted a Burberry scarf for the longest time, but I could not bring myself to save money to just spend on a scarf. So an inexpensive under £10 scarf from Boohoo will do me just fine over winter. It's really soft, but it is quite thin. It's not the thick of scarves so I think it's more of like a fashion scarf this will probably be, be my only winter scarf I'm not a massive scarf person I have one fur scarf and now I have this one so yeah gorge okay so another dupe item I got from Val Lily was just this oh my goodness it's just this like supreme dupe oversized sort of base is it a baseball jersey like, I don't know my American sport just got like two numbers on the back there this is long enough for me to wear as a dress um as it's in a size large which will come in really handy for me because i don't mind getting my legs out in the autumn this is a super cool 
casual loungewear piece and that's what I find I love about Thou Lily. They have such nice casual lounge pieces or t-shirts and stuff like that. Their like t-shirt range is insane so be sure to check that out. This just definitely caught my eye. I love the colourings of it. I just think it looks super cool and it's very Instagrammable. Do you know what I mean? Very Tumblr-esque. I did just get a really amazing skirt from Boohoo which is just this. Look at this. It's like a sailor sort of white skirt with a blue and red sort of stripe down there and then these like gold sailor motif buttons and I literally die for this skirt I just think it's gonna look super cute with like a red jumper tucked in maybe something like this if you didn't have the pink stripes but just tucked into something like that I think would look super cute the only thing is is it's white now I don't know if white is the most wintry color ever I've gone back on the site and they do actually have this in like a navy color I did get this in a size 10 because it said the model was wearing a size 10 so I was like well if the model were wearing a size 10 but I got the size 10 but it is actually a little bit gappy so I'm actually going to get the navy version of this which I will link down below as well in the size 8 really nice quality it's lined and it's just everything that you will need in a skirt okay so these trousers are going to be really hard to show you just like this without just looking hella weird so it's literally just a pair of burgundy loving the colour burgundy if you didn't see my last haul featuring Miss Pat which was like a blog mail haul I'll link that down below you will see I was loving the colour burgundy and still am it's these sort of stretch not like rubber quite thin material wide like sort of ankle grazer collot style trousers with this paper bag waist now they look like absolutely nothing like this like, i'm not showing them to you very well but i will show you a cut of me wearing them and i adore them i think they just look so nice on the color is so nice it goes really nice with that um black bodysuit i showed you earlier from Balili. and yeah these Balili trousers are just incredible they've got like a ring detail on them there he's like the perfect night out trouser for me they're lightweight as well and yeah Bowley again super inexpensive so I am really loving me like some sort of checked print it doesn't matter what kind of check print it is I am loving it so this skirt was just literally inevitable for me it completely looks like a school skirt but a very short one but I absolutely love it it's sort of in this dark grey navy red sort of check which I think is super cute and it's going to go really nicely against like a red jumper or something like that and then with a pair of boots on the bottom that kind of cosy winter girly kind of look I love wearing that during the autumn like I said I would probably wear it with an oversized knit or like a t-shirt or something like that I think it would look super cute I got it in a size 8 and to be honest it's a tiny bit big on the waist but I'll definitely have a look because if I'm ordering that other skirt in a size down then I'll be sure to order this in a size down super inexpensive again in this really nice thick cotton material gorgeous like honestly boohoo skirt range is incredible i have another skirt from boohoo to show you and that is even better and that was only 12 pounds so you just wait so like i mentioned with bow lily i absolutely love their basics and their tees and whatnot so i did just get this which is this sort of off the shoulder white top with just a ruched bit there it was super inexpensive super cheap but it's in this really nice thick cotton like it's not see-through it's not like cheap like you think it would be like you would have thought this had been a lot more for some reason i got it in the size medium which was my bad i thought because it was off the shoulder oh i'll go up a size but it has meant that this is like a tiny bit baggy and looks a bit off like i'll show you in the try-ons what it looks like but if I were to order this again, being size 8, I would definitely get the size small. So stick to your usual sizes, guys. Like, don't size up with this because it's off the shoulder. Other than that, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I still will be wearing this. And then the last thing from Boohoo, like I mentioned, was, again, a skirt. And look at this colour. Oh, you know I am just dying over red at the moment. And it's in this corduroy kind of material, which is so in at the moment. Especially against, like, shearling materials or fur or something like that. This was £12. £12 for this corduroy beautiful ruffled kind of detail skirt I love a ruffle detail on a skirt I just think it makes you look super slim I don't know what it is about it I don't know if it's because it draws attention to the ruffle but yeah I absolutely adore it and I did get this in a size 10 because like I said with the other skirt it said the model was wearing a size 10 so I was like well okay so I got it in a size 10 and this one actually does fit really nicely and gorgeous so many things I'm gonna be wearing with this the perfect autumn winter skirt guys like seriously go and get one of these they're 12 pounds okay so the last thing I got from Belle Lily was just this green dress here and then it's just got this sort of popper detail all down it and it's like in this lined material it's stretchy which is really nice I did get this in the smallest size there was 
but looking back the smallest size the measurements on it were actually quite big and because it was stretchy for some reason I just thought oh I'll just get the smallest size and it'll be fine but it's actually quite big and with a dress like this it looks nice big and like oversized and how it is but I just wanted it to fit tight fitting like this would look gorgeous like just a figging hugging dress that cross between autumn and winter because this colour just reminds me of Christmas and Christmas trees to be honest so I absolutely adore this and it had obviously the poppers on it and I love a popper detail if you know me you know I love a popper detail so I was just a bit sad that it was a bit oversized I'm not sure how I'm going to style this up at the moment I'll try it on so let me know how you would style it up bearing in mind they are oversized okay guys so we've reached the end of the haul that is it I think there was about 15 items there all again from Boohoo and Bao Lily they're two of my favorite places at the moment like I always get so excited when I get a Boohoo package and I always get so excited when I get a Bao Lily package they're two kind of different sites but they have like stocked me up for autumn you want to go and check out all the links down below from everything that I've showed including again this jumper from Pretty Little Thing of course as always comment down below tell me what you liked what you didn't like maybe or if you've been shopping on Bao Lily as well because I really think they need the extra support that I know a lot of you have been giving in my videos to show or to prove to people that they are a legit website so be sure to do that I love Bao Lily as usual my Instagram Snapchat Twitter 21 buttons is all at Sarah Jo Holden and I would appreciate it so much if you wanted to go and check them out and yeah of course Depop I'm selling stuff on Depop Sarah Jo Holder and yeah I hope you're taking care of yourselves guys let me know how you all are sending love to every single one of you